then guys, welcome back to the Golf Magic channel. I'm Alex, the video and equipment editor here at Golf Magic, and today you join me at the Swing Suite at Chromehurst Golf Club for another episode of our brand battles. Now today I've got two irons that all of us know very, very well. I've got the TaylorMade P790 iron, an iron that was released a good year ago. I'm gonna put it up against the new JPX921 Hot Metal Pro. Now Mizuno are known for having unbelievable feeling irons. Nothing feels like a Mizuno, but I think the P790 is gonna be a pretty decent competitor today. Let's go straight into the looks of these two irons because there are actually some, some differences just looking down at them and looking at the design. For me, the P7 range from TaylorMade are just phenomenal. The way they've designed them, make it, they, they seem so sleek and so modern. So I don't think it's, it's really difficult to actually top these irons. And Mizuno, the JPX91 range, just looking at it now, it does look more like a game improvement iron than the P790 iron, just from the design itself. You can see that the P790 iron is more compact, whereas the JPX91 Hot Metal Pro does look like it has a deeper cavity. The actual offset and the top line is wider as well by some considerable distance too, which makes you think that maybe the Hot Metal Pro would be targeted at those, those higher handicap golfers in comparison to the P790. Looking down at both of them though, this is where it does get quite interesting because you can't see that much of the actual offset from the cavity on the JPX921 Hot Metal Pro, but it still is just slightly larger of a top line, but nothing that I would say is too diminishing and not pleasant for a mid handicap range golfer. Let's now put it on the Trackman here at the Swing Suite at Chromehurst Golf Club and see how just both of them perform. I'll throw a day out the window, just see how they feel, see how easy they are to hit, and then I'll come straight back to you. Let's see how I get on. Look at ball speed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that goes a long way. <sighs> oh, that felt nice. Woo. Right guys, so I've hit these two irons quite a lot now. To be honest, I didn't really want to stop because <laughs> They're both pretty, yeah, they're both pretty nice feeling irons, but how do I get on in terms of feel? Now I'm gonna lay down some terms that are quite ambiguous, so I apologize, but when I talk about feel, I feel like I'm gonna have to lay some random words down that you guys need to understand. So let's talk about the actual P790 to begin with. Now, I think a lot of people have seen reviews of this before and they're aware that it goes a long way, like a really long way. And that is down to just the, the speed pocket, the way in which it's designed, and the problems that some people have with it is that it goes some, sometimes too far. Sometimes it would go 20 yards further than it actually should do. I haven't had that today, but I think the feel kind of does equate to that because it doesn't feel that soft, but what it does feel is that it just feels like a rocket's off the face. It feels so springy and that every shot I hit, I was looking at the actual data and thinking, how far is this actually gonna go? Like, I was thinking it's gonna go 220 yards for an actual, for a six iron, which to us, it did go a few times, but for me, this does show that it is a all around players club. I wouldn't really pinpoint this club so far down to any sort of handicap range. And that's what Taylor made have said as well. It can literally be anyone from plus five to 35. And I really do agree with that because it does have forgiveness. Like I was hitting those, you can see the little bit behind me there. I was hitting those these dead straight every single time. And even if I did strike it a little bit thin, it would still go a long way. So for me, this one is top marks, but I would say it can be towards any player. The Mizuno JPX921 Hot Metal Pro, to be honest, th there's not too much difference between them. The main thing is this one does feel a lot softer and it doesn't feel as springy off the face. This doesn't mean it doesn't go a long way and I'll get to that just later part of this video, but it does feel a little bit softer, a little bit buttery and just looking down at it, it is more forgiving. I can tell that already, not by a considerable margin, but it is pretty clear to me that this club is more forgiving of an iron and it's not as workable. So it's pretty obvious that this one's more pinpointed to a much narrower handicap range. That's just my opinion. Whereas the P790 is for pretty much anyone. But how is the clubs perform on the Trackman at the Swing Suite? Because the data is also extremely important. So I've got a seven iron in the JPX91 Hot Metal Pro and I've got a six iron in the P790. You guys might be pretty annoyed with that, but to be honest, this, the JPX91s did have stronger lofts. So it's not too much different. I think that two and a half degrees difference. So I will expect the actual P790 to probably go about 
five to 10 yards further, but not too much in it. But let's see what data I get. Oh, that felt so nice. <laughs> That's gonna go miles. Yup. Oh, that felt so nice. Is that good? Oh my God. I don't think the Mizuno could beat this. <laughs> Ooh, that felt nice. Felt very soft. Right then, Ooh. that was a lot of fun. I honestly, I, in terms of a testing session that I've had, I don't think I've had more fun than I'm having right now with these two irons because they are quite similar in the actual results I'm getting and they go a long way. And I'm hitting it well because Scott here at the Swing Suite gave me an unbelievable lesson. So all pluses from me, but I need to decide a winner. I need to tell you guys which ones will be right for your game. So let's talk about the P790 and the data that I got. Yeah, so <laughs> this is a fun one. I'll put the data up on the screen for you now and you can see that the average data is unbelievable 210 yards average with the six iron slightly low spin so i'm not going to shout about it too much because i would like that to be a little bit higher for a six iron but i'm not too surprised with that because it does feel like with the loft that these irons are getting it's almost like it's an iron down it's more like it's a five iron but either way unbelievable numbers and with this as well is it was going straight every single time it was going straight i said my swing's doing really well right now but it's just such an enjoyable experience to hit this iron and it just goes so far. The JPX921 Hot Metal Pro, great numbers, unbelievable numbers. Let's put them up on the screen for you now. And you can see with the lofts, it's slightly behind the actual P790 at about 195 yards, slightly higher spin, still a little bit lower, but great numbers. And these two clubs are just overall unbelievable irons. So it's kind of led me to a decision as to which one wins? Which one is the winner of this brand battle? And I don't think I can give one because similar to other brand battle episodes that we've done, I think they're kind of targeting different people. The JPX91 Hot Metal Pro, I think it just targets people that are slightly higher handicap range. And I wouldn't recommend the mid to maybe low handicap players putting this in the bag. I wouldn't put this in the bag just because of the way it looks. It's just a little bit too thick of a top line for me. The P790 is for everyone, I think. It can be for any handicap player, just dependent on your actual game. If you're a 25, 30 handicap player, you can easily play this iron, easily play this iron. It may not be the most forgiving iron you've ever played, and perhaps the tailor-made Sim 2 irons would be more suited to if your ball striking's bad, but you can easily play this. So that makes me think, and that is my decision, that I do prefer the piece of a 90 by just quite some considerable distance, but that's basing it off my game. If you are a higher handicap player, I would probably lean towards either this one, the JPX91 Hot Metal Pro, or doing like a combo set of these tailor-made irons because you can do absolutely, you could do hundreds of things with a tailor-made iron range that they have. The P7 range is just, uh, for me, it's so nice to have so many different options that it really does tick every box. So that's my overall opinion of these two irons. I don't think there really is a winner. I think, to be honest, both of them are winners because they are just unbelievable iron sets. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today comparing the Mizuno JPX921 Hot Metal Pro against the TaylorMade P790. Both exceptional clubs, but which one's your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like as well. If you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button too to keep up to date with all our golf challenges, reviews, and much, much more to keep you entertained for all of 2021. I'll see you guys at the next video.